In this video, we're going to walk through setting up your budget in the cash flow budgeting tool that is included within Budget Challenge. Please note, the budgeting information used in the making of this video is from a sample simulation and the dates and amounts will not match yours. This is why it is important that you have your vendor selection worksheet printed out so that you are budgeting with the correct amounts from your simulation. If you do not have it printed out, pause this video now and print this worksheet. Cash flow budgeting is powerful because it helps you pay your bills on time and plan for future expenses like accomplishing trophy goals. It will also help you determine how much of your credit card balance you can afford to pay down and how much you can invest in your 401k. Without cash flow budgeting, the best you can do is make educated guesses about these decisions. With cash flow budgeting, you will always know how much money is in your bank account and have a plan for upcoming expenses. There are more calculations involved in cash flow budgeting, but fortunately, the cash flow budgeting tool does this work for you. Two different versions of the CFB tool are available. They both work the same, so download the version that works with the other applications you use in school or the version you are more familiar with. Also, your teacher may direct you to use one or the other. Pause this video if you need time to download the CFB tool, which is found on Student Home Vendor Selections. Now that we have our CFB tool downloaded and open, let's review how it organizes information. Each row is a day, and every day has a row. The first column is for money that comes in, such as employment income, like paychecks. And these columns are for money that goes out, such as payments made to vendors or bank fees or bank transfers. These columns already contain formulas to calculate the total amount of withdrawals and the total amount of deposits on every day. This yellow column contains a formula that calculates your bank balance for every day in the simulation. This is the cash flow part of cash flow budgeting. We have password protected the cells with formulas to prevent accidental deletion. Now, using the information on your vendor selections worksheet, the very first thing we want to do is initialize the CFB with the start date of your simulation. Type your start date into cell A12. This will automatically update all the dates and all the rows to match your 10-week simulation. Pause this video until this is done. Now we're going to fill out the budget using the worksheet in the following order. The first step is to enter our starting bank balance into cell B13. Did you notice what happened to the formulas in the checking account balance column? If nothing else happens in the simulation, your bank balance will show this amount every day going forward. Your job in the simulation pays bi-weekly, and your first paycheck is only one week after the simulation starts. From the worksheet, Look up the amount of net pay that you will receive and enter it in every green cell. You will need to scroll down to fill in all the future paydays. Please pause this video until this is done. We are now at step two, expenses. The worksheet has the dates and amounts for each vendor's first invoice and tells you how often you can expect future invoices from each vendor. The first invoice is this amount, and it is due on this date. So we are going to enter that into this cell. This is a monthly invoice, so we can scroll down and enter this again on the same day in all future months. Remember your budget is just a plan, so entering a payment here does not actually make a payment happen. Now pause this video and fill in all the initial and recurring expenses for the entire simulation. You can use the checkboxes on the Vendor Selections Worksheet to track your progress. Keep in mind that while many of the vendors send invoices every month, some do not. Now we're on Step 3, Trophy Goals. Some of the trophy goals can be earned by making sure the right amount of money goes to the right place by the right time. That means we can also plan to earn these trophies using the CFB. 
A summary of each goal can be found on Student Home in the Financial Capability section. Each trophy also has a detailed video that can be found in the Earning Trophies series section of the videos page. If a goal requires that you perform a financial transaction, we can add that to our CFB. For the Emergency Fund Trophy, funds need to be transferred from the checking account to your savings account by the 11th day. So we can add this transfer here in the Withdraws Fees and Transfers column. Once you do that, you can see how that will affect your cash balance from that point on. This is the benefit of the cash flow budgeting tool. It allows you to see how expenses and payments will affect your budget before you make them. Remember, the budget is just your plan, so adding this transfer to the CFB doesn't make it happen. You'll still need to visit the bank page to make this transfer happen before the deadline to earn your trophy. The bank page is also where you will write checks to pay bills from vendors. As you can see, there's a lot to remember here. So we recommend adding notes in this column to help you remember what to do and by when. Now pause the video and add transactions for the remaining goals that require a transaction. Now we are on step four, balance. In this step, balance, we are going to fine tune our budgeting plan based on our cash flow. After you are sure that your budget contains all expected income, all known expenses, all trophy-related expenses, you will want to check the yellow column in your CFB for the entire 10 weeks. If you have any red numbers, you are forecasted to have a cash flow problem. While making sure that you pay every bill and earn all trophies, there are some adjustments that you can experiment with to resolve cash flow problems in your CFB. These include credit card payments. Can you afford to pay off the entire balance right away or will you need to make a partial payment? 401k contribution percent. Using the payroll calculator, can you improve cash flow by adjusting the percentages on different paychecks? Vendors. Can you improve cash flow by switching some vendor selections? Trophy goals. Trophy closing dates vary. Are you earning any before you need to? Balancing can involve trial and error and weighing trade-offs. Don't forget to leave a little wiggle room in case something unexpected happens in the simulation. One more thing, the reason we recommended a 5% contribution rate into your 401k was to maximize the free money you can earn through the employer match. This is highly recommended, but 5% may not be enough to earn the trophy. Please watch the retirement savings video that is found on the videos page. It contains helpful math examples. Vendor selection changes can be made any time before launch. So go ahead, just don't forget to update your CFB. Properly setting up your cash flow budgeting tool is the key to a successful start in the simulation. It provides you with a financial plan that will guide you going forward. The last step is step five, maintaining your cash flow budgeting tool. That happens once the simulation starts, so we don't cover that in this video. This concludes the Getting Started video series. Having a good plan to manage your cash flow is the first step in successfully managing your finances. If you correctly set up your cash flow budgeting tool, you are off to a great start.